Hey everybody, I hope all is well. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so we're gonna start with lesson four, audience research. Audience is definitely highly underestimated in general and the power of, of audience research is just, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's just, it's incredible basically. Um, while you do audience research, I would like to keep your, keep, make sure to keep your strategies in mind because if you keep your thought on what strategies would work for you while you're doing audience research, it will be just much easier for you to do, to make actually your, your funnel. Um, more clear and it will be easier. But um, but yeah, what what are the benefits of the of audience research? So yeah, I'll mention some. Uh, yeah, your ad copy will be better. Your videos will be better. Your follow up will be better. Your branding will be better. Your relationship with your clients will be better. Your website pages will have a high conversion rate. You'll be better at knowing what products or services you should make to service them. You'll know what kind of lead magnets to make. Uh, you'll know better what to A-B split test. You'll end up working more efficient, effectively also because when the pains and goals are clear of your audience, your vision becomes much more clear and your behavior will automatically align with that vision. Your path will be clearer and you'll end up focusing on what's most important to go forward with automatically. And actually lots of uh, like very successful business people say that, that focus is actually the key to success. Um, but most importantly, your offer and messaging will be better, which is the most significant part of your Facebook ad campaign. More about that in the next step. And um, yeah, making your strategy will be easier and more clear. And there's, of course, much more benefits also that are not listed here, but these are just a bunch of examples. But yeah, how do you do audience research? <clears throat> what you really want to know is their goals, dreams, their pains, their fears, and their objections when it comes to your product or service. And I think this generally comes down to pattern recognition. So basically what psychological patterns does an audience have in relation to the type of products or services you sell? So what does your audience keep on saying or behaving like about when it comes to their goals, pains, fears, and objections related to your niche? Uh, yeah, usually it's different than what people expect or much more nuanced. And I think it's absolutely vital. A lot of people, they think they know exactly what their audience needs and what their their deep personal thoughts are when it comes to fixing the problems that you might be able to solve, for example. Um, but oftentimes, after doing proper audience research and really talking to, to your audience, uh, you might find out some golden nuggets. Um, there's many different ways to be able to do audience research. I'll show you an example of how to do audience research when you have a significant email list, and I'll show you an example of how to do um, audience research if you don't have an email list. And the next lesson will be about how to do audience research with an email list. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.